Flori, for the first time, the Lowy Institute's done polling from India, the way Indians view the world. What are some of the main results that you're seeing from that poll? Well, this was a, a big poll because it looked at what Indians across all levels of society think about the future of their country in the world. And it's given some very strong impressions about Indian public opinion. For example, it's emphasised that uh, a surprising majority of Indians are optimistic about their country's future and about the future of their economy, even though it's had some stumbles lately. At the same time, large numbers, large majorities of Indians see security threats to their country from all sorts of places, uh, from Pakistan, from China, from non-state issues like uh, water scarcity, energy insecurity, food insecurity, environmental threats and so forth. Uh, so it's a very strong overview, if you like, of Indian attitudes to mm. the world. And in, I noticed in the poll there's, there's some interesting data on how Indians view their relationships with other countries, particularly Pakistan and China and the US. Can you elaborate on how that really affects their view of the world? Yes, we focused on those three countries, Pakistan, China and the United States, because those three countries emerged very clearly as countries uh, Indians are either worried about or invest quite a lot of hope in. In the case of Pakistan, uh, the sad news, the bad news is that Indians overwhelmingly still see Pakistan as a security threat. Something like 93% of Indians see Pakistan in that way. At the same time, uh, there's a lot of wariness about China. Uh, again, 83% of Indians see China as a security threat, even though the rise of China has been good for India in some ways, economically at least. And then turning to the United States, Indians feel more warmly towards the United States than to any other country, but even so, about, th about one third of Indians are worried about America as a potential security threat. Uh, it's not quite clear how that would eventuate, of course. And what about other areas of foreign policy? Did the poll give some indication of what Indians are really wanting for their foreign policies? Well, Indians have high expectations of their foreign policy, and I suspect that their expectations are much higher than mm. the very small Indian foreign ministry uh, can actually meet. Uh, just about all of the issues that we offered to respondents as uh, possible objectives for Indian foreign policy, ranging from protecting Indian citizens abroad to uh, achieving peace or achieving justice or protecting Indians uh, national interests in the world all of these issues were rated as important as priorities by the public uh, where there was more discrimination is the way that they ranked the tools or the instruments of foreign policy surprisingly Indians want their military to be the foremost tool of foreign policy. 95% of Indians said that having a strong military is very important for India's foreign policy objectives in the world, whereas only about two-thirds of Indians saw the external affairs ministry or the intelligence services as being important for achieving India's goals in the world. So for a democracy and a civilian-led country, there's a very strong attachment to the military. Mm. One result that really struck out for me in the report was on corruption and um, obviously that's an issue that we keep reading about mm. in the papers. What did you find in the poll? Well corruption has become a big headline issue in India lately and even more so now as India is moving towards national elections next year. Mm. The poll confirmed what we all suspected which is that an overwhelming majority of Indians see corruption as a very important issue. More than 90% see corruption as very important and again, more than 90% see it as a top priority for government to address. What's interesting is that 80%, still a very large majority, think that the civil society anti-corruption campaigners that have emerged in India in recent years are doing a good job and have made India a better place. So there's a lot of worry about corruption, a lot of bitterness about corruption, but there's also a degree of hope that things can change. Mm. Rory, great. Thanks for talking with you. My pleasure.